Okay guys, so welcome aboard. Now today we're going to discuss uh, a couple of things. We'll just go over it right now while I'm waxing up the bow. The, uh, the big thing that we're doing today is we're going to do the high draw. Yep, that's right. Smoke as much marijuana as you can before you come out and shoot and do the high draw. Well, okay, maybe it's not quite like that. But uh, when I talk about the high draw, I mean up by the ear, real high. The uh, reason for doing that is if we anchor down by the corner of our mouth, there's a distance from our eye to our mouth like that. That is a big angle. But if we draw high, then the angle is very low. Therefore, the gap is very low and it's relatively easy to judge your elevation because I'll tell you elevation is very very difficult to guess and uh, if you can get the gap reduced so that the arrow is almost on well it's a lot better so that's what we're going to do we're going to practice what I call the high draw we're going to go right up by the past the eye, just up above the cheekbone, and real high on the ear. We're going to get a little tiny gap, and we're just going to nail that target again and again and again. Anyhow, I'll be back in a minute. We'll go shoot and have some fun. Okay, now, so what we're going to do is we're putting the tip of the arrow right on the center line. But when we draw, we're going to draw up here really high not down here you see when you draw down here your arrow is pointing up towards the target and there's a tendency to shoot high what I've noticed is that if we draw really high the arrow is pointed from back here and uh, the gap is very very small it's very easy to shoot elevation this way and that's what we're trying to do you know, we've solved the left to right problem. Just hang that elbow. But, the elevation is a completely different problem. And uh, I think that the best way to solve it is to get the arrow, back of the arrow, up almost level to the eye. Okay, so that's what we want to do today. We're going to work on elevation and we're going to work on getting that angle between our eye and the back of the arrow very small. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hold the arrow on the center line. We're going to come all the way back. We're going to draw very high so that the angle of the t from the tip to the center is very small. And we're going to shoot at that target. And uh, when we do that, we will start to get pretty good hits all at the same level. That's what we're after today. Be back in a minute. Okay now, so let's see if we can continue on with this high draw. Chris McLaughlin he emailed me a while ago and he said that he'd seen Howard Hill shoot and he heard Howard Hill say that he didn't have an anchor point. He had a release point but not an anchor point. I thought that was interesting. That was interesting. Draw high. 
you can get your hand up here. The gap is very small. The angle is very small. Elevation is quite a problem. This is my answer. Begin where you're going to finish. It's more efficient. Put the tip right on the center line. That's where it's going to be. Perfection is in the mind. Perfection is impossible. It's only possible in our minds. Okay, that's a fact. We can imagine shots just perfectly, you know, but actually doing it, little things can distract you. But anyhow, what I'm finding is getting that draw right up by the ear, right up above that cheekbone, it's very good. Do not touch the bag under your eye. If you touch the bag under your eye, everything will go blurry. You can't do that. But you can get it real close without touching it, and you'll hit good shots. Anyhow, when you do that, you start to get some shots. Okay? Okay, and I'll be back in a minute. Hi right, guys, well, I'll show you uh, another arrow. This arrow here is one of my arrows, and you'll notice that it's a blunt. It actually has a square tip, and I use it because when I'm out practicing and uh, you want to be shooting at something that's sort of like a rabbit, you're only shooting 5 to 15 yards, use one of these. It will stop immediately. It will not skip and go under the grass and disappear. It will stop immediately. The thing about a blunt though is that do not ever shoot two blunts at the same target because if your second blunt hits the first one, you're smashing that arrow. Sure as hell, it's gone. Okay? So don't do that. And you'll notice that all my feathers are always white but I have this one yellow one here and that's just so that when I have them down in the uh, in the quiver I can look and immediately see not to grab this one because it's my blunt whereas all the other white ones are good to shoot but anyhow that's a blunt and uh, extremely great fun to shoot and uh, they will just stop you know pick a dandelion pick a weed pick a clump of dirt bang good stuff anyhow that's just a little aside, but let's get back to some shooting. Okay now. So we'll work on our elevation some more. It's a problem, so let's work on it. Again, we're drawing high. We're going to keep that back of that arrow up high. Reset the head. Do your little steps. Put it up. If we draw down here, it's a big angle. If we draw up here, it's a small angle. It's as simple as that. It's just easier to line up. common denominator to all shooting is having a relaxed right arm. If that right side is not relaxed, it doesn't matter what you're doing. You're not hitting it.
yeah the wedge when I uh, when I look at the target my eyes looking at it but my arrow is over there that's a wedge this is straight this is on an angle I'm looking at it but my arrow is over there okay you want to see a wedge but it should be just a small wedge and then you just pull the back in okay so that's all you got to do Preset your head, draw high, relax your arm, look along the arrow. And the higher you draw, the easier it will be to line up. Okay? But that's a, a, a little trick. Again, anchor down here, big gap, hold it up high, a small gap. And when you do that, you'll, you'll get some hits, okay? Be back in a minute. Okay, now guys, my mustache is getting a little crooked, so we'll just straighten that out. Now, let's straighten out some of the enemies of the room. Elevation. I find it's better if I draw up high. I am finding that my index finger might even just touch just right in front of that little bump on my ear, right by my cheekbone. So it's up pretty high. I guess that's a you know drawing to the ear. But drawing high. You try it. I think you'll find it will help your elevation. You won't have to work at it so hard. It works pretty good. much easier to judge a little gap than a big gap. What about these guys that anchor on their chin, you know, like, that's that much. Okay. And something that I find when I'm doing this, uh, it's kind of neat, you know, I may have mentioned it, but it's just like having, being on a ship and the ship is creaking. I can hear that glove creak, and, you know, I can tell the pressure's on there, so it's kind of neat. But uh, begin where you're going to end. So put the tip on, it's already on. Now you all, all you have to do is get that back lined up. If you can draw it up high, it's not much to gauge it that's all it is okay and uh, if you do that you'll find that you can get some fairly reasonable hits without uh, where did I go oh they're there and uh, but you know without really aiming or twisting and torquing just drawing it out relaxing let it fall into line Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay now guys. Elevation.
drawing high. When we draw high and the hand comes down to a natural position, the gap is so small it doesn't even seem like a gap. It's just a slight adjustment. It's much easier to judge a small gap than a big gap. And this could be why our ancestors said draw to your ear. Just let it all fall in behind. There we go. Okay, so what I'm finding is, again, if your arm is all the way back, it should not be going back after you let go. If it's already back, it should just basically stay there. The length of my arm makes my hand come here, right by that little bump on my ear. Your arms may be shorter, maybe longer. Wherever it goes when it's all the way back, that's where it should go. When all these people or instructors are teaching you, touch your corner of your mouth and then go like this, you know, and squeeze the lemon. Well, that's because they're not back. If you're back, there's no need to do that. And uh, so that's what I would suggest. And again, the pull is what corrects your left to right, the pivot principle. But the up and down is very difficult. And I just simply find that a smaller angle by drawing high is easier to judge than a big angle when you're down here by your chin or your mouth. Anyhow, I've said it a few times. I think you're catching on. And uh, when you do that, you can get some hits. Okay. Be back in a while. Well, guys, I tell you, I'm about through for the day, I think. I'm taking a few shots now. So, uh, we want to draw high. Keep the tip on and lower it. Line up that eye in that jaw. Okay, well, I think that we'll just uh, stop with that one. That was good enough. Uh, so, again, keep it on the center line. That's where it's going to be when you shoot. So start with the tip on. You only have to get the back on now. Draw with a relaxed arm. Try to draw with a, with a small wedge. Not a way over on this side, but small. Okay, I've shown you how you can hit the target no matter where your hand is, but it's better to have it small. Okay, um, and that's basically it. Relax that right arm, it's extremely important. Let it fall in behind. Let that bow relax. When that right arm relaxes, let that bow bring it in behind the front hand. That's a big deal. Anyhow, when you do that kind of stuff and you practice for a while, and uh, you decide to go home. 
That's a nice enough shot for going home with, don't you think? Okay, guys. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.